Hello, my name is Michael Irwin, and I'm excited to talk to you about the Docker MCP catalog and toolkit. Now, if you're not quite familiar with MCP yet, no worries, we'll take a quick second and explain a little bit of that. As you see in this diagram, most Gen AI apps are triggered by some sort of user or system event. Maybe it's I typed a message in a chat bot or whatever it might be. The app then takes that, that message, gathers up whatever context is needed, and then sends it off to the backend models where then it, it looks at all that context and then sends a, a response back. Maybe it's writing code or answering my questions, whatever it might be. Now, the question though is, how do we get these apps to actually do more for us? How do we help those apps be smarter, more functional? How do we package up those various tools, those additional capabilities, and share those in reliable and safe ways? That's where MCP comes in. And MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. And what it provides is the ability to basically attach additional tooling to each of these applications. Some of these tools may be look up additional information or perform other actions, send emails, look up Slack messages, look up details in a Salesforce database. It could be lots of different things. But there's a problem how these MCP servers are configured. For example, if we look at this configuration, this is for Claude Desktop, we'll see that in order to run this MCP server, I have to have NPX installed. Many of you may not know what NPX is. That's a, a package manager and tool that comes in as part of the Node ecosystem. A lot of other MCP servers may use UVX coming from the Python ecosystem or a variety of other tools. So again, I had to have this installed. What version does it need? Lots of other questions that come up here. Do I trust this package? I don't know where some random server is coming from here. Is it the authoritative source for a particular set of tools that I want to use? Again. Do I trust this? What other access is this gonna to have to my host file system and, and more? Is it trustworthy? And then finally, I've also got a credential that's being configured here. I don't want my credentials just sitting in static files. This doesn't feel very safe to me. And this is just Claude's configuration. I may have similar things for cursor or for VS Code or any other AI tool that I'm wanting to use. So the first thing that Docker announced was the MCP catalog. What this does is, is it provides a collection of containerized MCP servers, so I don't have to worry about the runtime and ins installation configuration. And so here we can see the catalog and we can see lots of MCP servers for names and vendors that, that you trust. And in fact, if we go and look at the full list, we'll see that there's up to 113 repositories right now. So that, that helps solve the problem of the runtime. Okay, I don't have to have anything installed and configured, but how do we do credentials? How do we help resolve these other issues? If we look at how Claude and VS Code are gonna launch, in case I want GitHub and Slack for both of these, it's actually gonna launch two copies of each of these servers, which means I have a lot of additional containers and connections that are gonna be just running and taking up resources. I also then have to figure out how do I inject the credentials into these in, in safe ways. And that's where the MCP toolkit comes in, where now I have a single dashboard that I can just go and enable various MCP servers and inject the configuration that's needed. Let's take a look at it by going through a demo here. I've got a, a sample application that I've got this GitHub issue that I want to resolve. Now, this issue is pretty simple. It's asking me to add a field to a Kafka event. But what I want to do is I want to connect this into VS Code, and I want to be able to ask it, can you look up issue number 19 for me and help me complete it? Now, when this runs, Copilot's not gonna have all the context. It doesn't have the ability to go look up that issue. And so we see that it does a search and it just can't find it. But with a Docker MCP toolkit, I can just easily look up GitHub. I can find an official server. I can see that it has a tool called Git issue. And once I provide it with a personal access token, so again, a secret that's needed, I can enable this server. And now I can connect VS Code to the toolkit to do so. I'll go to the MCP clients, and there's quite a few clients that are available here just with a single button press. But for those that aren't listed here, I can copy the command, and then VS Code, I can add an MCP server. I have a command. I'm gonna paste in the command. I'll call this the Docker Desktop MCP Toolkit. And yes, I wanna apply it to my entire workspace. And I'll hit Start, and now I can see that I've got 30 tools. And if I go back to my chat, since I'm running agent mode, I can see all the tools that are available to me. Again, all I did was go and enable the tools. It's running in a container. It doesn't get much easier than that. Okay, now I'm gonna ask it, now can you look up the issue info? And what we'll see here is that it's now has that tool description. It's gonna ask, can I run this tool? 
And I'll see here that it's trying to call out of my personal namespace. And I'm going to say, actually, that's not quite right. Instead of using my personal namespace, can you use the upstream repo since I've forked it? Okay. And again, what we'll see is that now it's going to ask it from the, the upstream. I'll hit continue. And now if we take a look at this, what basically happened, it happened really quickly, was the tool execution request was forward to the MCP toolkit, launched the container, injected the credentials, made the API call to GitHub, got the response back, stopped the container. So again, I don't have the container up and running all the time, but now Copilot has the additional context that's needed. And it's telling me that it knows how to solve this problem. So yeah, let's do it. And from here, what it's gonna do then is look for the changes that are needed, make those code changes for me, and we'll be we'll have this issue completed. Once it's made the code changes, then I can say, yeah, go ahead and run the test, make sure everything works. We'll see that it's going to launch the test. In this case, I'm using test containers to validate everything works as expected. And now I'm done. I can even go ahead and have Copilot commit the code, push the, the code, create a pull request, and everything directly here from this this chat interface because it has all the tools. And that is the Docker MCP catalog and toolkit. With it, it provides the ability to, to leverage MCP servers, enhance the capabilities of my AI tooling, and do so safely and securely. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our latest innovations.